Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of this Canon Avalon Nano 3. This is the box that it came in. It was like opening up an iPhone or an iPad mini. A <laughs> really nice box. Great presentation here. But this is the unit itself. And I have to say, this is probably one of my new favorite at-home Bitcoin miners for, I guess, mining Bitcoin, like pool mining or solo mining, which I would probably recommend doing rather than pool mining. You're not gonna make much pool mining with this thing. It's like 30 or 40 cents a day, but the Bitcoin halving is coming, so it's probably gonna be a lot less than that. But I am solo mining Bitcoin cash with this thing right now, and I'll explain why later on in this video. But I just wanna give another opinion right now. This is definitely a lot better than a lot of these other like solo mining Bitcoin miners that are advertised, you know, for solo mining. And yeah, just because of the price, okay? These are like 250 to $300 for this Bitax. Mars Lander is like, what, $300, $400 or something. But this Avalon Nano 3 from Canon, on their Indiegogo site or on their website, which links to the Indiegogo, this sells for about $130 US, including their official power supply, which unfortunately I was never given. Thank you to mineshop.eu though for sending me this Avalon Nano 3 to review for you guys. He also has them for pre-order. I'll have it linked down below if you are interested. But I got a lot I wanna go through in this video, including the uh, power supplies regarding these. Since I don't have the official one, I did order one off Amazon and I am unable to get the high power mode. Uh, which is, you know, four terahash, 140 watts. Right now I'm on medium mode, and that's about using about 91 watts, according to this, and hashing at about 3.2 terahash, which I believe is a little bit more efficient than high mode. But there is also a low mode as well, and that's gonna draw about 60 watts, and it's gonna hash at about two to 2.2 2 uh, terahash, which is really cool. I'll show you guys that later. And just to further my opinion regarding this, I ordered seven more <laughs> of these from the Indiegogo, okay? So when those come, I'll have the official uh, power supply as well. Yeah, I'm unable to mine at four terahash, 140 watts, even though I do have a USB-C uh, to USB-C. MacBook Pro 140 watt charger here. Right now, you guys can see it's running at about 104 watts on my 106 volt power meter here. So yeah, it's, it's pretty close to what they're, you know, saying here, 90 watts, but it's, it looks like I'm, maybe drawing about 114 watts more, but that's because my voltage is quite low right now. But yeah, I really do like this. This, is a, this front plate here comes off very easy to, uh, if you wanna like dust it out or anything. Uh, unfortunately, the back part does not come off. I did try attempting to take this off. This is the USB-C port on the back here to power it, obviously. And you know, the great thing about this, you know, like I said in the beginning, great for home mining, great as like a showpiece in your living room or kitchen, right? It runs on Wi-Fi. There is no ethernet jack on here uh, to do hardwire, okay? But Wi-Fi is just fine. And actually, that's a good segue into showing you guys how to set this up. It's actually very easy. So there is an app that you have to download called Avalon Remote. And you can see here, I'm actually already added it to my phone here. But when you guys initially set it up, when you first plug it in and it turns on automatically, it will broadcast its own SSID, wireless connection. So you gotta use your phone to connect to the Wi-Fi of this called Heater Nano. And then you gotta go back to the app and hit next. And then you gotta join your wireless connection, whatever your Wi-Fi SSID and put in the password, then the Avalon Nano will get an IP address on your network. And then on your phone, you gotta go and join your Wi-Fi back and then open up the app and then you'll see the Nano 3, okay? And this is where you can control the heater control, which is low, medium, and high. Uh, that's what they advertise this as, as a heater. It is a great heater, I have to say. It's, you know, pumping out a lot of heat here. But going through the app, you can control the light. So I can probably, I can turn this off. So no more LEDs. And turn that back on because I do like it. And you can do uh, flash. Okay, you can flash. You can do breathing, which I like the most. You can see there. And it's red, obviously. And you can do loop. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's gonna loop the different colors. Look at that. See, RGB, which is really sick. So you go back to breathing and you can actually adjust the uh, brightness as well. Um, you can also adjust the uh, palette, which is all the 
you know, the different RGB colors, which I did red, which I like the most. So I really like that. That's really cool. So you can actually do as well at the very bottom. The last thing here is mining management. Uh, this is where you can set the uh, mining pool address and such as well. But there's actually a web GUI on this. So once you get the IP address, which it'll show right here, you can go to a, you know, your computer or laptop, log into the IP address in a web browser, and you can see more in-depth stats like what the temperature is and all that stuff I'll show you guys in the computer in a second but there's one thing I wanted to just take note here okay and I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a thing for some people depending on your ambient temperatures or how hot uh, you know your room is gonna be so if you're in your kitchen or in your living room you know you're probably not gonna have you know a high ambient temperature but right now just looking at the front of this thing okay it's it says it's about almost 69 degrees Celsius. And another big concern I have is gonna be the power brick. This power brick is getting pretty toasty. 82 right now. Even the temperature at the connector is showing about 60, 68, 69 degrees Celsius. So pretty hot. This thing, hot to touch. Like I can't hold it here for more than three seconds. It's, pr it's pretty hot. So something to be mindful of, I don't know if the official power brick is gonna have higher uh, capacity, like, you know, higher than 140 watts. I did try searching on Amazon or Google for something higher than 140 watts. I wasn't successful. I did see a Dell 165 watt USB-C adapter, but that was almost $150, $160, which cost more than this whole thing combined, including the power supply. So I didn't want to go and buy that to test it out. Like I said, I did order seven more of them myself. Once they come, I will test it out again uh, with the official power brick. So I have some more food for thoughts. Let me show you guys the web GUI and some other stuff I want to talk about. Okay, so I'm remoted into the Avalon Nano 3. I got the IP address, I placed it in the browser, and now there's a login, which is gonna be root and root. So the web GUI here is based on the Brains OS. I believe Brains and Canon work together in terms of the software for this, which is really cool. Brains OS has been around for a long time. They're quite well known in the space for their firmware, for their Bitcoin miners. Anyways, this is the web GUI here. I have it on medium mode, 3.2 terahash, and uh, just it's been running for the past hour and 17 minutes here. Uh, fan status is 3180 RPM. Uh, miner temperature shows 42 degrees Celsius, which is really good to see, really low there. Um, but the heat sinks we did see was about what, 65, 70 uh, Celsius, which is not bad on the heat sink, but it looks like on the temperature itself inside looks to be fine. I am currently solo mining with this thing, okay? So under configuration, you can see here, and showing you guys my stats on the mining pool, I'm actually solo mining Bitcoin Cash. And some of you guys may, may be asking, Red Panda, why are you solo mining Bitcoin Cash and not Bitcoin? And trust me, I would love to solo mine Bitcoin, but, okay, here's, here's the big, interesting part okay i want to see if i can get a bitcoin block uh sorry bitcoin cash block faster because if i were to mine you know solo mine bitcoin right now and let's just do a theoretical thing here so i'm at 3.2 terahash right i'm gonna hit calculate on solochance.org here this is to calculate what are my chances of hitting a bitcoin block i let's say per block so i have a 200 million chance here uh, per block for Bitcoin, which is every 10 minutes uh, to get a Bitcoin block, all right? Or per hour, you can see here, be that. Per day, per week, per month, or once per year, I have a 3,861 chance uh, per year. Now, if I were to go to Bitcoin Cash, okay? Type in calculate 3.2, you can see my chances are a lot higher. Uh, well, the number is lower. As you guys can understand, the lower number means a higher chance for me. So you can see here, chance per year, one in 23 chance, but per block for Bitcoin Cash is gonna be 1.1 million instead of 20 million chance per block. And so a Bitcoin Cash block is, I think around 3,000, $3,500. So if I hit one eventually, at least once a year, or maybe, maybe once every two years, I should in theory, you know, already get my money back, okay? So that's why I am doing solo mining Bitcoin Cash. You know, I could do Bitcoin SV or Digibyte or 
you know, potentially a lot of these other SHA-256 algorithms here showing on mining pool stats. It's probably a crapshoot, but you know, just something for fun. And uh, I guess the, the thing about this is the novelty of having the ability to participate in the Bitcoin network. Supporting the networks, it doesn't have to be Bitcoin, like I said, it could be Bitcoin Cash or any other one here. But yeah, this is the web GUI here. Um, there is an air, uh, air speed, you can change low, medium, high, which is nice. Right now it's in medium. Um, there's the network here. There's the log. You can see the log of this thing, which is really cool. Uh, system, there's password upgrade. I'm assuming there might be a firmware update for this later on in the future. Reboot and reset the factory. Okay, so yeah, there you guys go. There's really cool to see this, but you can also control it with the app, which I just I just showed you earlier. Now, should you buy this? Well, my opinion, I told you in the beginning, I do like this compared to all the other, you know, other uh, solo mining Bitcoin models out there, like the Bitax, and, uh, but, just looking at this, okay, for the price compared to those, I'd have to say it's really good. I'm gonna do a comparison here. So the Avalon Nano 3 in high mode, okay, in terms of efficiency, right, is about 35 watt per hash. Okay, this is the efficiency, okay? So against like a What's Miner M30S++ in low power mode, it's at 32. So, or another good example is a Bitmain S19 uh, efficiency. So it's around these types of models here, which are much older. Okay, so if we scroll up, right, there's the Nano 3 medium mode, which I'm doing right now, 3.2 terahash, 100 watts, because my power supply, for some reason, doesn't able to mine at 4 terahash, it just shuts down. But the efficiency is there, 31.25 watt per hash. Okay, so a little bit better. But there's the low mode as well, which does 2.09 at 60 watts, which is uh, giving you about 28 watt per hash. Okay, so that's hitting up like a micro BT M50, uh, micro BT M56 or S19J Pro Plus, okay, in terms of efficiency there. But of course, it doesn't beat the big dogs in terms of efficiency like the Bitmain S21, which is hitting about, you know, S21 Pro, especially the new one that just came out, that's 15 uh, joules per terahash. Uh, but these are all big boy ASIC models, right, which are require a lot more power, all right, don't run at 110, they require 240 volt or higher and are very loud. Okay, so that's, that's a big disparity against this Avalon Nano 3, which is a lot quieter, okay? Anyways, just wanted to compare like the Bitax. All right, this Bitax does 0 0.6 terahash, and that gives a wattage of about 14. So the efficiency there is 23.3 joules per terahash, or watt per hash, which is really efficient. But look at the hash rate that you're achieving on this thing, and look at the price of a Bitax Ultra, okay? So what is the dollar per terahash on this guy? So if you did the math, right, 300 uh, divided by the hash rate, and that's gonna give you about $500 per terahash, because we're not even at terahash, we're at 0 0.6. If we looked at Avalon Nano 3 in high mode, right, the dollar per terahash you can see here is 32.50. $32.50 per terahash. Looking at the Bitax Ultra, that's a $500 per, not even a terahash. So there's the value there. Obviously this thing is 14 watts. It doesn't take much at all. It's quiet. I mean, this Avalon Nano is quiet as well, but we're getting a lot more terahash here versus a Bitax Ultra. So that's just something I wanted to give a food for thought for some people understanding, you know, the efficiency of this, the price of this thing, which is, yeah, if you buy this on uh, Indiegogo, uh, which is $130 US, okay? I bought seven of these Avalon Nano 3 full sets. Sorry, I bought four of these Avalon Nano full sets, and then I bought three of these, um, uh, the non uh, full set with, without the power supply. So I plan on running these on medium mode anyway. Again, once I receive the full set, I will try out the uh, full power for Terahash and uh, let you guys know how that goes. So I really do like this product. This is pretty nice. This is gonna go well uh, in my kitchen. I'm gonna have a couple in my living room, maybe one in the bedroom to provide some heat. Yeah, this is, why not, right? This is great. I, I really think you know, for the price, this is really cool. I put my money where my mouth is and I bought seven of my own, which are coming hopefully, I think by the end of this month. So links down below for everyone. If you guys are interested in buying one, uh, please check out mineshop.eu. They're a very trusted uh, reseller of ASIC hardware. Thank you again, Guntis, my friend, for sending this to me. I'll have links down below if you guys wanna purchase one, but stay tuned for more power testing of this Avalon Nano 3. As I do have an issue right now, I'm not able to mine at four 
terahash, 140 watts. So see if I switch, if I switch it to low, just by double clicking this, right, it says goes to low now, it will, it will go to low. But this thing will not let me go to high mode. It just goes back to uh, medium and then low mode because yeah, it's, yeah, the adapter, uh, yeah, it had an issue, it turned off and then once it rebooted, it wouldn't let me go back to high mode anymore. So once I get the official power supply, then, then I'll try it out. Okay, my friends, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to do for this video. You guys let me know what you think. For anyone that watched all the way to the end of this video, I wanna give away a week's worth of solo mining on this thing. All you gotta do is comment down below with your opinion regarding the new Canon Avalon Nano 3, positive or negative, comment down below and I will choose a winner 24 hours after this video is uploaded and I will pin the winner's comment and then they'll have to email me their pool address and their uh, wallet address and which coin, uh, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or whatever that they wanna mine uh, for this thing. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all in the next video, let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out. Oh yeah, it's going down to low mode.